Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 44 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Crusader Kings 3 as House Spartanus. And we are... Well, let's get, go ahead and unpause at a slow speed. We're going to pick up right where we left off and we are resupplying our forces in Sardinia as well as reinforcing them with another 1700 mercenaries. We saw as we sailed past the Balearic Islands, which we are trying to take back from Al Andalus, that the enemy... Seems to have just holed up there and they don't want to leave. Yes, yeah, gotta wait a couple of months with these supplies. Now we do want to, I think, sail back and get their capital maybe. Or at least start sieging down some of these lands here. Maybe we land here in Wilay of Balencia. Ba Balencia, I guess maybe that's like Valencia. Valencia. And we go, yeah, this has got 54 loot here. I think we do perhaps try to do that. Oh, this is one of the, apparently, one of the, one of the dukes that we are at war with, right? That Chitil Emir Ashraf. Uh, maybe we make our way down there and knock on his door. Now we do have uh, this, sir. He's got. He's a border. He's got the supply. Well supplied. And we really need to get a couple more months with this guy to gain our supplies. We're at minus seventy, and the main reason being we're not. We don't. We're not holding the. Yeah, we're not holding the island of Mallorca. So let's go ahead and we'll sail past it and we'll see. Maybe we just land here, conquer this, and then the thing is here we're not even going to get any loot, but we could just push up here, push on the capital, maybe gain, you know, yeah, maybe siege this down. Maybe that will draw them out. We have drawn them out when we uh, siege the capital of Alandalus before, Cordoba. So maybe that will work again. Let's see. Yeah, let's wait until the end of the month. Of the month to be honest we don't really have at the end of the month so let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and all get together and sail so we don't really have a lot of time here let's go ahead and try this and we'll see on the way you know, as we sail Okay, barn houses, storehouses, and capo are ready. Excellent. We don't want a grand tournament or any of this. Stewardship perk is available again. It is my domain. Do we go to for avaricious or do we go for likable? Let's go. It is my domain. More, more so because we want the gold on the plum. Monthly income per stress level. We're pretty stressed. Oh, okay, so they're not here. Let's go ahead and land here then and start sieging this down. We'll split ourselves into two stacks. Yep, okay, let's... Yep. Make sure all of our siege weapons are uh, sieging uh, Mallorca. Oh, I still have too many people here. 5,800 supply limit. Oh. Okay, we're starting to be honest here. It doesn't really matter, but I guess... Oh, we're still going to chew through our supplies. Greetings, my perceptive liege. I have arrived in Napoli to pay homage to you, glorious despot, as a show of my loyalty. Who's this Duchess Thecla? Oh, she's grown... She's come of age. Why don't we marry her off to one of our sons? She's... Okay, she's of house. Spartanus, nah. nah. She stayed loyal to us during uh, the Great Rebellion, as we will refer to it. Uh, so let's see, I'll bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Show Thecla in at once. Gives us 90 gold. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Duchess Thecla, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth her gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken, and scribes record her pledges to serve despotate of Magna Gratia. At last I bid the Duchess arise. Confirming my satisfaction and Thecla's rights to the lands she rules in my stead. 
I accept your generous gifts, Duchess Thecla. Nice, another 150 renown. We did unlock yet another uh, dynasty legacy at the end of last episode. Oh, County of Napoli gained mismanaged population. Oh dear, because of Duchess Sophia II's of Sicily's poor management. Fine, can't really focus on that right now. Knight improved Dukes Anselmo. Come on. Victorious Crusade. The Catholic Crusade against Malekith of Tahir was a resounding success. The Holy Warriors, stirred by Pope Nicolaus' call to war, have defeated their enemies time and again, permanently occupying their lands. Okay. It is hard to say how long their rule will last and if the followers of Allah will strike back after this humiliation. But at least for now, the people of Tahirid will have to learn to live under the shadow of the cross. The bickering of infidels is, no, is of no concern to us. Malik Ridwan ibn Yasser of Tahirid, foreign ruler. Amir al-Umara Matiya II ibn Suhail of the Salimid Grand Emirate. Interesting, so what does this mean now? Because they were going after this and... Uh... I mean, it looks like it's still under his control, to be honest. Kind of an odd target. There's one, I think. I think that maybe have like decreased the fervor, maybe of. Oh no, he's become Catholic. That's that's the outcome. Okay. Boom. Interesting. But wait, he's become Catholic though, but not this, not the religion in each province. Yeah. Maybe that decreased their no fervor is a hundred percent. I'm not really sure what that crusade really gave them. But hey, the bickering of infidels does not concern us. We do need to go in a pilgrimage ourselves, to be really honest, though. Let's finish this war, and then we'll get on with it. There we go. Now it's plus 18 immediately. Okay, and now that these are our lands, I guess does that mean now the supply, the supply situation has not changed. Mm, I don't want to stick around here because soon we will again run out of supplies. That's only five per month. Oh, they are. We're probably better off, st still better off sailing here, maybe sieging this down and getting to their capital, I think. Maybe we siege this guy down. Hmm. 124. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's no point in spending that much money to just siege this. Yeah, the interesting thing is, again, I mean, we're out of supply constantly. Maybe we do land here. Yeah, it's only four. We have to put some pressure on him and we kind of do want to force a fight. We are bleeding men from attrition. Let's go ahead. Maybe that will draw them out at least. Let's see. Oh, okay. Hostile army. Hostile. But hostile doesn't mean enemy army, however. It just means... They will fight us. And we do have a lot of attrition here. So again, let's just split ourselves up. Save ourselves some supplies. Castle here. Fourth level seven. A secret exposed. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal Dux Valeriano has had an extramarital affair with his lover Theodorada. How could he defile the sanctity of marriage? Uh, the crime is fine. These accusations are not but malice and lies. Indeed. 
He's, uh, you know, the hope of our nation. So, I frankly... Oh, okay. Here they are. Now, we could sail there and fight them. We'd both have the disem disembarkation penalty. All right. At the same time, though... Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's 10,000 of these. Yeah, it can be even more than that. Deary me. Deary me. It's 90. They have 12,000 men. To, much like us, they have. Same number of men. Well, can't go there. Because we haven't cleared this fort. Sure. Very difficult situation getting these islands. I mean, if we lost them initially. Oh, okay. Let's. Well, this guy seems to be uh, coming for us. That's fine. Not sure what he was planning on. I have to say, not sure what he was planning on at all. Lombard Treaties was destroyed, yes. You have enough to like gain the level of fame. Your glory is widely known. Exalted among men we are now. Okay, let's try and move up this coast. I'm hoping they will sail back to Tarragona, maybe. We can actually see where that enemy army is. We do want to meet them. An open battle. I think we would win. No. Can't really see where they are. Nine months left. Some, some of these guys here. Do we finally have mangonels? Yes, we do. A significant improvement to our existing catapult designs. Traction powered mangonels are much faster to load and fire than torsion-powered machines. Well, can we, uh... No, we cannot. We can't, like, upgrade these? Fine, we'll do that. We'll do that after this war is over. Okay, well, at least we're not losing supplies here. We are, in fact, gaining supplies here. That's perfect. Yeah, this defender controls war target. Mm. Perhaps we should have just stayed there when we conquered it. It would have ticked up slowly, I guess, right? Should do. Hostile army. Oh, wait. Okay, what is this? Enemy army. Yep, let's, let's go. Let's try to, uh, first of all, Okay, band together, and then we need to find them and fight them. Now, here we have advantage 38 minus 13. Yeah, so we need to move over here. Come on, let's. Once, as soon as we link up, we're gonna we're gonna attack them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get these. Let's try and chase them down. We are oh, almost 600 men. We would lose, really. Oh, this is so frustrating. It's like, I mean, I do want to force a fight here. I do. I don't want to lose 600 men as soon as we start fighting, however. Okay. Fine. Let's just siege this. This is frustrating, to be honest. The system of forts and how we lose a hold of 600 men here. I guess due to being harassed by them. Very well, Tiberius shall serve me. Various Grispos. Okay, ten. Fine. Come join us. Um, hmm. Fine, let's send half of our men this way. Continue the siege since we're already on it. I mean, not really the best time to waste time. Well, let's go ahead and siege this down and then we sail here quickly. 
and regain Mallorca. How many months is this? 38 days. Sail here, speed this up. Oh, you have died. That's what Butros of Magna Gratia rests in the arms of the Lord at 61 years of age. He died of old age. Quick to anger, his castle often resonated with the thunderous echo of his screams. Despotissa Zine ascends to the throne. Never caring for the word of the scripture, many fear Zine's rule will come to an early end as God smites her. She's 35 years old, she is beautiful. Okay, the succession line is secured. Well, Butros didn't have only 14 years on the throne. Yeah, he lived in the shadow of his father, Desper Artemius. I mean, he was a ta tough act to follow, but he was dreaded. He was exalted among men, some devotion. He did build up the realm. Hosted three activities. Yeah, continuous despotism at Zine. Okay, we, oof, okay, we only have seven out of eight. Okay, our income situation has changed. Okay, we need to be very mindful of this. Okay, hang on. Hmm. So, what titles have we are we holding? We still hold the Duchy of Capua and Duchy of Sardinia. County of Napoli. Why is it only 7 out of 8 now? What did we lose? Oh, we lost Cyprus, unfortunately. Yeah. Cyprus is... Yeah, Princess Apollonia is in charge of Cyprus. Oh, that's a lot. That was a lot of money here. Duchy of Salerno and Cyprus we lost. Oh, yeah, that's 2. Yeah. Well, we used to have 11. Salerno is another 2 counties. Yeah. Well, oh, this is painful. That's fine, though. No. That's fine. Capo is by far the richest. We, I mean, our father did leave us with a uh, reasonable sum of money. Faction created against you. Since the Princess Apollonia created a faction to install Princess Apollonia of Salerno on the Grecian throne against you. New patriarch. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what this is about. Let's just remove these. Right, let's see. Despotisa Zine of Magna Gratia. 35 years old. Healthy, good health. She's compassionate, both merciful and sympathetic. Zine is warm hearted. She's arrogant. Zine has no problem with her sense of worth. No, she's shy, though. Zine prefers to avoid interacting with other people. And she's cynical. Zine trusts the self interests of others above all else. Okay, she's a fortune builder. Zine possesses a keen sense for all matters relating to stewardship and is an administrative force to be reckoned with. She is pretty. Zine has been blessed with a pleasing female physique. She's a valued administrative courtier. Monthly stewardship lifestyle experience plus 15%. Excellent. So let's go ahead with uh, education. Focus on go with stewardship. Focus on dealing justice, administrating the lands of your realm, and filling your coffers with gold. I would go for monthly income focus for now oh, she's going with the administrator mm. Mm. diplomacy stewardship let's go ahead okay let's go with domain focus then my land and the people under my care are my strength let's go with this one we'll finish the administrator perk what do we have then meritocracy you can use claim throne scheme against your liege Ugh. learn language scheme power domestic affairs efficiency for our chancellor, likable, positions of power, okay, vassal, levy contribution, monthly tyranny, negative, your vassals are less likely to join independence factions, okay, honored to serve, powerful vassal, counselor, tax contribution plus 20% and levy, okay, yeah, I think this one is a good one, the rest are kind of meh, we don't need the first one, learn language, doesn't really matter, domestic affairs, question, yeah, some, some benefit from that, Direct vassal opinion. We do have a lot of powerful vassals. Direct vassal opinion plus 10. That's good. We don't have a liege. Positions of power. There, That's good because this is, these are typically the most powerful um, dukes that we have in our realm. Large levies. Yeah. Although our army is not really reliant on levies. 
month of tyranny. Okay, well, we should be able to, we should be getting a lot of experience per month. Yeah, so every perk is what, less than two years and we have plenty of time. So we'll go down administrator tier and then, then probably go down architect. Maybe grab a few things in Avaricious because we do need to get that income up again. Now, good thing we still hold. We're holding on to uh, Sardinia, to be honest. Now we could... Could we somehow, like, get rid of this guy? Act of turning causing your subject to lose 25 opinion of you. Might accept. Yeah, we might actually just do that. She's arrogant. So we'll see. Now, council positions are empty. Now, we definitely need... Where is our hero? There he is. Dukes Valeriano. He will continue to be our marshal. Uh, so your spy master is still... Meinhard. Yeah, Fawn... Wasserburg. We need a chancellor. Prince Josef. Yep. Your uncle. Let's put him on the council. Domestic affairs. Excellent steward. Duke Anselmo of Spoleto. He's just and diligent. He's got 15 stewardship. Let's have a look. Oh, it's mine. Huh? Your sister, Princess Apollonia. Uh, how many men does she have? 2,000. Uh, Anselmo, 2,700. Oh, there we go. He's decided. Fine. Come on to the council. Still kind of hates us, though. Increased development. Yeah, let's continue to do so. Where are we now? We're at 35, so that's good. Let's try to get to 40. Uh, just to keep up. We're disrupting schemes, converting religion, orthodox in uh, Duchy of Spoleto. Oh, this is the Duke Anselmo. Yeah, this is the Lombard. Uh, yeah, that's... To be honest, if he did rebel, this actually wouldn't be a bad idea. We'd just take all of this over. Let's see. Maybe we should... Ins well, in fact, if our sister rebelled, we would take back Cyprus. Right, well, we are shrewd. Right, well, we are cynical and arrogant. Yeah, let's try and get our forces to New Yorker here. Quickly siege it down to make sure we actually win this war. And it's not going to be a very long time since they don't have a lot of garrisons. Notable guest has arrived. Okay, let's remove these tutorials. So I keep them on just in case I ever need to uh, grant tour available, grand tournament, court event, dangerous faction, that's fine. This war for Joseph's claim, Emir Kadiu, your uncle and Malik Ridwan's steward, he only has 600 men, so decline. And there we go. Okay. How about we just stand here then? Oh, still. Yeah, we're still gonna lose um, supplies. Prisoner taken in siege. Deary me. War score plus 29 battles. One battles lost. Occupying counties. Plus 15%. Mallorca. Attacker controls war target. Well, come to us then. Where are these guys? I guess we could land here. And then, given we now control the coast, we could then try to intercept any enemy army that tries to make it to Mallorca. Because if they recapture it one more time, we will lose the war. Right? Oh my god, have we spent so much money just like sailing around. 120 gold every time. It's these guys. This is sieging. I mean, they're, they're fighting among themselves. Oh, look at this. Excellent. Emirate of Tula, Tula has seceded. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't have that many men now. Okay, let's go ahead and land. I think that maybe this is who they're fighting. Yeah, it's all up in flames, isn't it? Okay, let's get over there. I don't think they can muster that 14,000 in invalidated. Gration war for Prince Joseph, third claim of Shagdom of Mallorca. The Gration war for Prince Joseph claim on the Shagdom of Mallorca has ended. Prince Joseph died, and thus his claim no longer be used by you. Oh, how did he die? Oh, come on, so be it. How did he die? Oh, this is frustrating. 
Duchy of Crete, Dukes Daniel. Come on, Joseph. How the hell? It was killed in a storm at sea. No, dearie me. Okay, well, the primary heir is this guy, but he doesn't have a leash. So let's go ahead and... Dukes Daniel's claims, Dukes Eustinus's claims. Oh, I just... I want my own. Oh. We do a no, it can't be a holy war because they're Catholic. Okay, but I can't get all of them. Okay, well, let's just fabricate these claims then. Yeah, let's forget about converting. Oh, no, I guess we have to like just wait and get this finished. Oh, this is frustrating. Fine, let's wait to get that finished. Oh, yeah. This is annoying. Demand artifact. To my liege, you have something that should legitimately belong to me and relinquish it at once. Who are you? My nose perfume. Decline. Empty council position. Chancellor. Oh yeah, that was Prince Joseph Count Germans of Abaria. was Princess Apollonia of Magna Gratia. Right, she can be our chancellor. Let's try to keep the peace. If we take Balearic Islands back, that will be more provinces for us. Nowhere near as rich as Cyprus, I think. But good enough. Court events available. Pay a ransom to the benign despotist Zine of Magda Gratia. Vranda Umayyad pays 50 to you. Okay, fine. Court events available. Murder holes and priest holes. A pallid individual who looks as if... She has spent her entire life skulking underground, is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. Uh, I have always wished for a room in which to panic undisturbed. You gain the trait paranoid, you lose 300, you lose 40 stress. No, I'm a simple woman, a hidden escape passage will do. Hostile scheme success chance minus 15%. A series of spy holes where my courtiers gather, please. Spying holes. Scheme discovery chance. I shall enter and leave rooms only by the front door, you wench. Um, now we can do... I'm a simple woman. A hidden passage will do. Yeah, let's guard ourselves. We're going to be living for a long time. Prandial excess. I mean, we're young. And, uh, yeah, we just ascended to the throne, so I think... So I think, yeah, Secret Passage is an order. Prandial access. I love it how, though, every king builds a Secret Passage in this game. So there must be a lot of Secret Passages by that, by this time. Each day, it seems my court is abuzz with talk of the next banquet, and many have grown rather more portly as of late. The culinary activity is fueled by Despot Roger, Meinhardt, and Theodosius' constant vying to demand the most memor memorable meal from my overworked cooks. Today it is my Hitaria Theodosius who rules my liege. Tonight I am having the kitchens prepare the richest sauce known to man, served with a ten bird roast, licking his lips hungrily. Patriarch Romanus sighs disapprovingly. These fleeting pleasures are nothing compared to God's grace. Um, I can't wait. Only the best for my court. Yeah, I mean, she is arrogant. Which is not really about God. Will you ever be satisfied? Only the best for my court. Yeah. And she's cynical too. Like, you know, pleasing these men will win their favor. In the past few days, neighboring King Matteo has been visiting my court on his way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he has been outshining me with his generosity towards my own courtiers, who have all been lapping up his gold with no dignity. I can't help but scoff when I see him surrounded by adoring courtiers for their un for their umpteenth time, my courtiers. A purse for you, good Gwen, and some coins for you also, kind Leontius, and for you, sweet Tiberius, sweet honey cakes. Remember, riches are meant to be shared. I can be even more generous. Ten court grandeur. Uh, do we really care about this guy's opinion? I should take advantage of this his silly generosity too. The drunkard, yeah, we're, we're cynical, arrogant. Let's go ahead and try to. There we go. King Matteo is convinced. Yeah. Now, what about our son Tiberius? What education? He's got intrigue education in the end. He's charming, diplomacy, and intrigue. Mm. 
who is educating him? Break betrothal. Who is he betrothed to? Princess. Oh yeah, all the girl of France. Okay, we arranged that before. He's craven. God, intrigue plus two. Uh, educate child. Have child study language. Ask to join holy order. Ask to take vows. Gift artifact. Designate heir. Well, he's our heir, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, who has the most intrigue? Meinhard. Yeah, let's get him on our side then. Meinhard, can you... Do we demand your conversion now? He never... Never wanted to convert. We already asked him once before. There we go. We're now court grandeur of 10. Okay, we're gonna hold court, but let's just take stock of where we are and what we need. We want to take Balearic Islands. So that will be three counties, so we'll take that. That will give, bring us up to 10, and we should hopefully, with our extra stewardship, we will uh, we'll be able to squeeze that in and gain extra income. Plus 29 is pretty good as well. Pay ransom, sure. Mercenary company contract expiring in six months. Fine. Your acquaintance Sarah died. And you are in our dungeons. Okay. So fine. Pay ransom. Effects on Sheikh Dalmau, Birangero, Cabra pays 50 to you. Sure. Unfortunately, we can't declare a holy war for the duchy. It does have... It's got no... It's got nothing. It's got nothing, really. Declare war. Duke Daniel's claims. Shade of Mallorca. Fortunately, we can't seem to just... Hmm. Yeah, let's get these claims for ourselves, I think. Yeah. We'll get these for ourselves, since I'm not sure where else we're going to be fighting. Are they worth it though? How much? I mean, they don't have a lot of tax now. 355, 183. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, they, they, they should have decent income. Pays 10. Sure, we don't want any of you in our dungeons. 100. Sure. The crown of our people. Daughter learns language, Italian vulgar. Okay, the servant that is usually tasked with cleaning my most prized possessions comes to me with my Greek crown of Magna Gratia in her hands. My lady, did you know that after so many generations belonging to the Despotissa, this crown is now considered an integral part of the identity of Magna Gratia? Excellent news. Greek crown gains crown of the people. This crown has been connected for generations to the same title, so it is now identified with the ruler of this people. Short range duration minus 30%. Excellent. Vassal opinion plus 3 that is great because our culture, we get a penalty. Well, so we, we gain longer short reign, I think. Don't we? Cosmetics, where was it? Byzantine traditions. Short reign duration plus 50%. Nice. And that counters that a little bit. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Prisoner released. Here we go. Knight. Qualifies the entire duke's order entered Sheikh Harry's archery contest. Okay. Ransoms, fine for a child, a woman. Sure, a child is growing in my womb. My husband, Desperate Roger, will be proud. Good. Um, okay, we need to be mindful of the fact that I think we're gonna. Okay, Prince Apollonia, she's selfless. Yeah, we are gonna go into a regency. I think when we are about to give birth, mine heart is swayed. Excellent. Okay, he's he likes us now. So let's have a look. Who are our powerful? Yeah, these. Let's go ahead and sway Duchess Sophia. Because she's a powerful vassal. Okay, 50 to us. Nice, 25. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. I've heard rumors of a lost tome rediscovered. 
You gain a very good book artifact, or you gain an uninteresting old book artifact. Uh, sure. The lost tome contains a great wealth of knowledge. You gain a very good book artifact. Oh, what was it? Greek architecture. Wait, hang on. Okay. Hang on a second. Lines about, okay, let's read the event first. Lines about legacy. The latest work of my vassal, Count Germanos, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Germanos has publicly dedicated it to me. A lament for the despotissa. The mightiest woman must leave this earth, and hope of good words there is no dearth, and hope only for memory's grace that there history finds true place so far i've kept my thoughts to myself but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer i don't quite know how i feel about this germanus i can see this is truly heartfelt yeah see count germanus of arborea oh this is the one in corsica sure truly heartfelt I and mean, we're pregnant so we should be nice to people um, so what would we look, we're looking at our artifacts. Uh, what are we carrying? Pilgrim's Guide, Diplomacy and Piety. I think we can probably drop that one and instead get the Greek architecture. Uh, are, are we already carrying that? No. Where is Maritime Trading Book? Is equipped. Hmm. So didn't we just gain an artifact? Holy nail, temple holding construction cost. Let's actually repair this. It's actually quite a good one. Right there. For building a castle and its servants. Temple building construction time. Martial life stocks minus plus 10. Yeah, we could put two of these together. We should have done that when we built the temples in Cyprus, but fine. Okay. Wait, but where was the book that we got? Antiquarian. We don't even have an antiquarian. Leontius, right? He can be our antiquarian. He's something. Oh, is it some... Oh, okay. It's not, it's not an artifact. Yeah, okay. It's a court artifact. Building construction time minus 50%, monthly stewardship lifestyle. Okay. That on their Greek scriptures. This is all displayed. Spartanus dynasty banner. Spartanus house banner. Let's go ahead and repair this because we made this like years and years ago. So I want to keep these. Illustrious book, Greek. On gentle and wild beasts. But this is not equipped though. Uh, I mean, this is clearly a better one. Prestige, monthly piety, illustrious book, Greek on gentle and wild beasts. Andalusian court politics. Monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 20%. Mm. Okay, we're actually a fragment of the true cross. I'm not sure why that wasn't there for a while. Really wish there were more slots, to be honest. Fine. Okay. Decision available, hold court. We do have 1,000 gold, so we should... I mean, actually, I want to save the gold until we get the administrator perk, and then we get cutting corners on the professional workforce. Yeah, we'll try to get those quickly. The entire Dukes of Lerner entered Sheikh Harry's dual context. contest. Mercenary company dismissed. Okay. So we've finished converting religion. As soon as we do this, we're going to gain three claims. And we're going to gain back the Balearic Islands. And re-establish our control of the Mediterranean. And then finally get on with uh, actually doing something for the of Bax, Morgir, Orthodox. 
negotiator. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of Napoli, my son Basilius runs up to me. Mother, they just started swinging at one, at one another when he's interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court, circling each other in preparation for another tussle. Break it up, both of you. Firm hand perk. Monthly prestige per dread. Basilius, help them mediate. So further Basilius' is diplomacy education, you will gain 15 opinion of us. Sure. Wounded, my injured vassal. My vassal Dasha Sophia has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that her body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by her bedside. But there's nothing that can be done. Do we not have a court physician? Surely we do. Yeah, we do. Mine hard. Lady in waiting. Lady, a lady in waiting is an assistant and companion to a queen or empress, attending to her every need and fulfilling her every whim. Stress loss and hostile scheme resistance. Okay. Our mother. Aptitude is terrible. Excellent. Yeah. Not sure that will gel. Gel very well. Two ladies in waiting. We can have. We've got no eligible ones though. Caravan master. Theodosius. Fine. If we need to travel somewhere. Court tutor. Good. Bryalocentric. Put him in here. We have children. Food taste. The master of the horse. Master of the hunt. Royal architect. Mine heart. Okay. He's already got a job. Despot Roger. Okay. Our husband. Building construction time. Let's put him in. Food taste. Essential growth. Based on aptitude. Cupbearer. Court jester. Okay. I don't think we need anyone else just yet my son my relief is great and my joy even greater i have gave i have given birth to a perfect little son interesting we didn't actually get a uh, regency i thought we did i'm pretty sure in other playthroughs i've done kirillos kirillos may you grow to be strong and wise my son liberty demand to my liege it is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals accept the demands of the liberty faction or face our swords on the battlefield uh, okay we'll quickly accept this this ransom but i will not be threatened whoa okay thecla 3800 men duchess sophia 4000 men dukes strokios of the clumia 2400 men Dukes Gabriel the Bloody of Rashka, 1800 men. And this, this little upstart, Dukes Brashka, rally the troops. You will pay for this, all of you. Commander promoted. My Marshal Dukes Valiano very hesitantly brings Zenobius, the son of my vassal Duchess Sophia. Seriously, you, young man, just go. Okay, let's raise our... Ooh, we forgot to switch these to mangonels. Oh, this is going to take forever now, isn't it? Fine. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame, yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, there wasn't that much time in between this change. Fine, we'll do that after this war. Okay, let's go ahead and siege this down. No, not time for any activities right now. Now, who has remained loyal? The Duke of Calabria, our one of our best commanders. Zaklumia has rebelled. Rashka has rebelled. Duchy of Dubrovnik rebelled. Duchy of Corsica has remained loyal. We will note that. We will certainly note that. Bleeding men. Yeah, do this instead since we don't need all of these men. Oh, or do we? They have a thousand. Fort level is too high. Add better men at arms. Yeah, really need those mangonels to be honest. The empty council position steward. Meinhard is our spy master. Princess Apollonia. She's still our chancellor, well, despite the fact that she's at war with us. Interesting. Mm. 
fine. Let's put her here. Well, I mean, no, that's kind of... No, let's just fire her, to be honest. Let's... May a Antivgate, may a Marcus of Amalfi. Simple as that. Get out. Count Germanos. Okay. okay they do have 13,000 men. Stewardship perk available. Tow the line. No, it's such a shame. shame. That didn't come earlier. Son learns of language. My hunt taught Tiberius the high German language. Okay. Yeah, let's see. They will siege this down. And, I mean, if they land in Capua, we will defeat them since they'll have the disembarkation penalty. Coveted claim. Meinhard, my spy master, frets all through the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, as we make our way to dine, he begins sheepishly. My liege, they say Grand Prince Bermert, your cousin, takes his purported claims on your lands more seriously each day. He maintains he is personally wronged by your continued rule of his rightful domain, Magna Gratia in particular. What? Grand Prince Bermort of Hungary. Oh, 3,000 men he's got. Ah, oh, that venomous swain. I shall write Bermort at once. Diplomacy challenge. Either your letter softens Grand Prince Bermort when he gains 10 opinion of us, or we become rivals. Inconsequential prattle, I'm sure. You gain trusting liege. For three years. 50% the rumors were true. 50% nothing. I mean, is he really plotting? I, don't, I mean, to be honest, I don't think so. I think it's inconsequential prattle. I'm sure the rumors were true. What? I mean, well, sure, come and get it then. Oh, the siege of Tripoli have lost. You gained a rival. Fine. We're ready. Okay, they are sailing somewhere. Okay, we've almost gotten this siege. Where are they sailing to, I wonder? They're sailing right here, actually. Nice. Let's see what they do. Okay, they are, I think, sailing to... Yeah, okay. Let's... Uh... Yeah, they do have the disembarkation penalty, so we should be able to beat them. And with 9,000 versus... Yeah, let's go. Let's just make sure we get there fast enough, though. Oh, they're running with their tails between their legs. Are oh, there no supplies? Nothing. Oh, look at these guys are making it for the hills. The rebels. Nothing for the well-trained legion of our despot. Nothing. Nice. Okay, you. Now we're going to chase you down. Demand artifact. Decline. Get out of here, you with your demands. Who are you to demand anything? Okay. Defending in mountains with no supplies. They're desperate. Yeah. Ooh. Our Hitaria Dukes Vodiano was slain by an enemy soldier. Wow. Oh, that's bad. Oh. We got no commander leaderless. Okay, our legions have preserved their discipline and are attacking. Duchess Thecla. Oh, even she betrayed us, did she? My god. Only Daniel of Crete has remained loyal. Everyone else is... No, actually. And Dukes Gavini of Corsica. Okay. Court tutor position vacated. It's no longer your court tutor. Okay. Oh, can't believe this. Dukes Maricas of Apulia. Is he not at war with us? Tiberius Grispos. He's honest, impatient, he's brilliant. Well, Apulia hasn't rebelled. Fine, then you get rewarded with being our marshal. engineer yeah okay that's what we need so we're gonna be doing a lot of sieging combatants slain 
Ah, oh, the Duke of Calabria. What a man. What a legend. He's a drunkard, though. Oh, 27 Marshal. Shame. Is this, is this an enemy army? Let's go ahead and chase them down there. to the Taranto, countered by an opponent's armored footman, countering opponent's pikemen, but not only by a tiny bit. Gained a level of fame. Yeah, let's get this army next. And not run from us. will be smashed again who are you 25 years old should have set on your Aegean islands because you know this time we are compassionate but cynical you know enemy combatants captured excellent our Hetaria Domin Dominigo Porto Torres was maimed. Yeah, that was a big mistake, guys. Big mistake to cross us. Very, very, very big mistake. Now, wait. Princess Apollonia, is she not at war with us? Sorry, wasn't she the one? Oh, no, sorry, she, it wasn't actually. She is on our side. Oh, no, and we fired her from the council. Christ, these wars can be really confusing sometimes. Okay, so sorry. It was the faction true, but it was actually just, just, just a bunch of our allies. Oh. So how can I see this, please? Oh, my God. Attackers. Okay, the game will not just let me easily see this. Fine, let's, uh, sorry, let's then. Princess Apollonia, fine, you can be our, our, uh, steward. Fine, Prince Apollonia, Daniel, that's son of our, I guess, son of our brother. Oh, who is this guy? Your uncle, a son of our uncle, rather, yeah. Prince, our sister has actually remained loyal. Go ahead and chase these guys. Part. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So that faction has disbanded. That's the information brokering. Grand Prince Bermort has approached me, claiming he has discovered who was behind the failed murder plot against Baron Balas. He has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence, as a piece of offering. As a peace offering between us, so we may put our grudge aside. I must know the truth. You and Grand Prince Bermot stop being rivals. You learn the details of his unknown secret. Vassal in the Grim Principality of Hungary. Grand Prince Bermot has approached me. Yeah, it's not. We stop. After examining the documents I received from Grand Prince Bermot, it becomes clear Princess Scylla was behind a failed plot to murder Baron Balas. The conniving wrench. Rich. Um, okay. We will continue to chase down the rebels. We will be relentless in our pursuit of them. Oh. Go ahead and we'll siege down Calabria. Task finished. Convert faith. Excellent. Can we please now... Oh, no, sorry. Fabricate claims. Yeah, that's two years. We're going to need six years to fabricate claims on all three of those. Okay, we're finally... Finally managed to intercept 
I'll catch up to the rebels. Again, smashing them to pieces. Third, that's what Roger maimed Mayor Narciss. Excellent. Yet another victory, 200. Lively livestock. As additional payment in, rec in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. Napoli will prosper from the herd, cattle herd, to help and growth was 10 or count, to, or it is a beautiful, beautiful herd, but it could be larger. Yeah, we are a good steward, so let's go ahead and try for that one. Oh, my breeding project fails. Unfortunate, but hey, you don't take a risk. You don't make a gain. We have enough supply here for this army, so let's just siege this down. Four months it takes. Okay, some enemy armies here. Rather frustrating. Let's just grab this so that we can then later our, make our way to Messina. And then to uh, Palermo. It's got 50 gold of loot. 46 gold of loot. Uh, we'll see if we need to get back to uh, Lecce and lift this siege 12 months. Yeah, I think we will do that. Holy Order hired. Yes. Over here and smash these rebels. Are good. They're now gathering up there. Nice. Lining up for us to take them down. Oh, no, you will not escape. Multiple guests has arrived, claiming Duchy of Thrace. Uh, a little far from us, for us. And again, we're countering the you know, pikemen are never a problem for us. It's actually. War declared to the brooding disposition Zine. May wisdom ever elude you. Your occupation of lands which rightfully belong to me can no longer be tolerated. It is time that I see them return to my possession. King Matteo II's Chancellor, attackers, Duchess Alda of Ancona. Rally the troops. Right, what is this? What is this? What is this? Hang on. Duchy of Ancona. What does she want to conquer? Tiramo. Okay, fine. Honored to serve. Powerful vassal levy and tax contribution. Powerful vassal counselor. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we need to get rid of these rebels. And then we will deal. We will deal with the Duchy of Ancona. Has she seceded from the Holy Roman? No, she's still part of the Ro Holy Roman Empire, isn't she? She just thought she could uh, mess with us, hasn't she? Okay. Okay. We do, ideally, we want to win. Yeah, we want to finish our war with our rebels here. Greetings, my impeccable leash. Implacable leash. I have arrived in Napoli to pay homage to you, glorious Despotissa, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my good will and servitude. Show Duke Scavini in at once. His loyalty is appreciated. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Duke Scavini, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken, and scribes record his pledges to serve Despotate of Magna Gratia. As Duke Scavini stands, he stumbles awkwardly. The court gasps in unison as he fell, as he falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flushed with embarrassment. Your oaths are all that matter to me here. Yeah, we are cynic. I guess we are arrogant. We are also compassionate. Yeah, and we're cynical though, so I'd go with the first option. Anyway, guys, we've come up on the hour, so let's make a cut here and we'll see where we get to in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.